What's up everyone, Brad here. Welcome back to another Good Good Labs. And today I'm gonna to try to help improve your putting. So for the video today, I have eight main points, eight main tips I wanna give y'all. Four of them will be on the setup part of putting. And then the other four will be on the actual, while you're stroking the putter. So the first one I wanna talk about is in the setup, and that is having your eyes just barely inside of the ball or directly over top of the ball. I wanna check right here where the shaft is going. My eyes are about right here compared to the ball. And that's kind of right where I want them. I always like my eyes being inside. I even like them favoring more the inside, like maybe even to right here than directly over the ball. I've never been a huge fan of my eyes being directly over the ball. Some people love it. Some people like their eyes being on the inside just like I do. But as long as they're either over the ball or maybe to about right here, anywhere in this little section right there, as long as your eyes are over that area, that'll give you the best look at the putt. So for instance, on a short putt, if my eyes are way back here, then lining up to the hole correctly will be very difficult. But yeah, lining your eyes up very inside, almost like this, it'll be very tough to line up the putt correctly. And also it can start making your arc go way too much this way. And also if your eyes are too far over the ball, it can also make it tough to line up the putter in the correct spot. And then also it can make your stroke start going too far out just because your arms are swinging in the wrong direction with that. They have to. You know, if they're swinging normal, it's gonna be going out. Just like here, if they're swinging normal, it's gonna be going in. So it gets everything just kind of over the ball, and that way you can just make a good stroke on it, and it should just go straight back, straight through with a slight arc if your eyes are inside of the ball. Tip number two for the setup, find a grip that you like. We just posted a video on the different types of putter grips that you can use with your hands. Go give that video a watch if you're trying to look for a grip that you are comfortable with or that you like a lot. I think I talked about almost like 10 different putting grips in that. So if you want, go watch that video and see what you like. For me personally, I like this grip a lot. It's pretty conventional with my right hand on the bottom, left hand on top. And I overlap this left pointer finger right in the middle of these two knuckles right here. I call it the Tiger putting grip because it's what Tiger uses. It's what he's used for a long time now. And I, I think I've used it for almost four or five years now. So preferably you want the grip should not be too much in your fingers. If you get the grip too much in your fingers and it's just gonna be a lot more hands in it um, in the putting stroke, you want it, the grip to be more in your hands. So instead of being up here, you want the grip to be more in your palm of your hands. And that'll just keep the wrist out of the putting stroke, which is what you want. You want these wrists and hands to be very solid in a putting stroke and not in the fingers and very wristy. The third thing is getting your feet into a comfortable position. So I actually recently just changed this up. A lot of y'all that have watched Giddy videos, y'all know that my feet are usually pretty close together. I just felt like my body was almost moving, my head was moving a little too much. So I changed my feet to a little bit wider position, about shoulder length apart. And I just felt a lot more stable, just felt like my head was moving less. It took a little bit of getting used to, but I think it's been a lot better since I've changed. And that's the thing about with all this with putting. Putting is so, there's no one way to do it. It's, it's like an art form. There's a lot of different ways to putt well, and you really have to find what you're comfortable with. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you to put your feet shoulder width apart. I'm not gonna tell you to put your feet close together. You really just have to try different things out and see what you like. Some people are very comfortable with the, the stance that's this wide. Some people like their feet almost touching. Some people like more just shoulder length, which is more conventional, I guess. But just get on the putting green and try, try out different setups with your feet and kind of see which one gives you the best balance, best kind of stabilization while you're putting. Yeah, that's very important to be able to find the comfortable way to put your feet in the, in the, in the setup. All right, last thing with the setup is lining up the ball and lining up the putter to your ball. So this is one thing that a lot of people, it's kind of, I figured it's about split half and half with good golfers on whether you line up the ball or not. So I am a big fan of lining up the golf ball. Just, I read the putt. Say, I mean, obviously this is a little four footer, it's dead straight. If I was on the real course, I'd be doing the same thing here. I would just be lining this line, the triple track, up to the middle of the hole. If this putt was a right edge putt, I would line up to the right edge of the hole. And I like it a lot because I know that if I line the ball up correctly, I can get over the ball and match that ball line with my putter line. And I know for a fact that I'm aimed in the correct spot. So there's no questioning that. 
I feel like if I don't use a line for me, I tend to question it sometimes. I'll get over the ball and I'm wondering if my eyes are seeing it correctly, if I'm actually lined up to where I want to be. For me, using the ball line, I, I just it gives me like a kind of a check mark off. Like, all right, I just, I'm, I'm good on that part. I don't have to worry about my alignment. Now I can worry about my speed or you know whatever it may be. I love using the ball line. Some people don't. Some people feel like they fall in love with the line too much if they use that or they think about it too much. And I can see how that can happen. That's happened to me before as well. But for me, I love using the line. And again, I'm not gonna tell you which one to use. I personally think, in my opinion, the best way to do it is putts like inside 15 feet, use the line, because I think line is so important on those putts, especially these little short ones. But anything over 15 feet, if you're not super comfortable with the line, then don't line it up. If you're 40 feet away, just don't line it up, focus on speed, because speed is by far gonna be the most important thing on a 40 footer. Then also on a three footer, line is gonna be a lot more important than speed. So yeah, I'd say if you wanna just try something to start off, inside 15 feet, use a line, outside 15 feet, don't use a line, and just play around with it. Maybe you end up falling in love with the line and you use it on every single putt you do. Maybe you don't like the line and you just don't wanna use it. Again, putting is a very personal thing. You just have to figure out what you like. So for me, like I said, I use the line basically on every putt but obviously there's a lot of great golfers that never use the line. So just do what, do what feels comfortable to you and find out what you like. So those were the four tips on the setup. Now we'll get more into the actual stroke, trying to stroke it well and trying to hit the ball on the line that you're wanting to. First thing I'm gonna talk about is kind of the basics of the putting stroke and how you want it to look. So basically when you putt, you want this putter to be going back and through on a slight arc. And I kind of got this alignment stick out just so you can see that if I was going straight back straight through that putter would be going right on the edge of that line the whole way but you want this to kind of start straight back but then just have a slight arc so if there's a straight line you want this thing just to kind of have a slight little is that an ellipse is that, is that what it's called solar eclipse solar eclipse <laughs> there's variations on how much you arc it people for instance, I'm not gonna get too super into it. That's not what this video is about, but this is a very face balanced putter. Some putters will hang with a weight like this. If your putter hangs like this, you want more arc. If your putter hangs like this, you want less arc. But those variations are very small. I just wanna make sure, and I take videos on my phone, I'll put a phone up like right here, and I can see how my putter is arcing, how my putting stroke looks, but you just want a slight arc back and through, not straight back, straight through, not super arky, but just a slight little open the face up a little bit, close the face back up a little bit, a little bit of arc. That's the basics of the putting stroke. All right, so the next tip I wanna give you on the putting stroke, you wanna make sure you keep your putting stroke very smooth. So, so basically how I like to picture it is, I like to imagine the putter is almost like a, a broom. So I'm trying to sweep the putter. I'm not jabbing it, I'm not you know, taking it back and jabbing it through. I like to make sure I'm almost feeling like I'm sweeping the ball. I mean, obviously you've seen people, you might have one, a jabbier stroke where it's just kind of taking it back and just jab it through, or you're almost like forcing the ball into the hole. Trust me, I can get that way sometimes too. I think basically any good golfer, any golfer has been that way in the past where maybe they're not as confident. They're trying to just get that ball in the hole as fast as possible and they get very jabby because the confidence just isn't there. But I promise you, you, will make a lot more putts if you can just make sure that you almost feel like you're just sweeping the floor with the putter. You just very smooth, very just, almost just gentle with it. You're just caressing it. You're just, you just wanna pretend like the putter's a broom and that ball's a mess. You just gotta sweep it in there. That was kinda cool. Now for the third tip of the putting stroke is you wanna make your putting stroke short and simple but you have to do that in a way where you don't get jabby. Personally, for me, I, the one thing I love most about my putting stroke is I feel like it is very simple in a way of, it's not super long, it's not going all like that, it's just very simple, just short and sweet, but also has really good tempo to it. So you have to find that middle ground of, obviously I want you to be able to keep your stroke short and simple, but if that causes you to jab at it because you feel like you can't get the ball to the hole, then you need to make it a little longer. So when I say, I want you to feel like you're sweeping it like a broom. I don't want you to start getting it super long. Like it might be have it might have a really good rhythm and tempo and flow to it. But if you start getting on a five footer and start taking it back this long, then that just leaves a lot more room for error where the putter can get in bad spots. So you want to have that same tempo, that same smooth sweeping motion, but also 
you want to keep this putter from going back too far. Because the less amount that that putter goes back and through, it's just less room for air for that putter to get too far off square. But yeah, just make sure to keep that stroke shorter back and through, but also just keep that tempo, just like a broom, just sweeping it. And um, that's the best two things you can do for your stroke. The last tip that I have for your putting stroke is especially important on short putts. And that is do not peak whenever you're putting. My short putting has been struggling a little bit lately. Kind of lost a little confidence on it because I don't practice it as much as I was when I was playing pro golf. But I found myself peaking at the hole a lot because I wasn't confident. The best thing to do is you want to you know, set up, you want to have a good stroke, and you want to be looking, I don't know if you want to find a dimple on the ball or maybe just the center of the ball or find something on the ball to look at. But when you're stroking it, I want you to find that spot on the ball to look at. And then once you hit it, especially on the putting green, try this. I want you to hit it and just keep looking at where that spot was, even after you hit the ball. Looking down on a spot on the ball and keeping your head looking at that spot. It will help your putting stroke just stay smooth. It'll help you finish your stroke in a good way. It's gonna take some practice on the putting green because it does take some trust. If you just start doing it on the course, it might be tough just because you're gonna be wanting to peak really bad. But just get on the putting green, go practice it hit 20, 30 short putts where you're not even looking at the hole, you're not looking at the ball, go in the hole and um, and just here for that little rattle. And, and yeah, that should help your putting stroke get a lot less jabby, especially on the short ones. Now I have two drills for you. One's for setup, one's for the stroke. First drill for the setup, and this is, it's not even really a drill, it's more just like a checkup. If you're on the putting green, you wanna see where your eyes are over the ball in relation to the ball. So there's two things you can do. So you can set up like this, and if you just stay, keep your body in the same spot, just hang this putter, just from your left eye or right eye, whichever one, and this part of the shaft is straight, and you just see where that shaft is pointing to, and so now I can tell my eyes are still about right there. That's one drill or a little checkup you can do to see where your eyes are at. Or if you have a second ball, you can set up the ball, do all that, left eye, and you just drop it. And obviously that dropped right there in the same spot that I was just pointing at. I'll do it again just to check. I guess I moved my eyes a little bit, but it's still the inside <laughs> of the ball. <laughs> but that's just two simple ways. It can be kind of hard to tell where your eyes are just by setting up. It can, you can, your eyes can be inside of the ball and actually they're over the ball and it's just kind of hard to tell. So either hang the putter from just from right here or just drop the ball. And that's just two easy ways to check and see where your eyes are in relation to the ball. Now for the second drill I'm gonna talk about. Um, this one is for your putting stroke. And this is a very simple drill. It's one that my college golf coach at OU, Ryan Hibble, he used growing up and he got me using it in college. What you do is you grab two different irons and you just set them up parallel to each other just like this. You want them to have just a little bit of room on both sides. So on this one, I'd say it's about half an inch. Um, of room on each side of my putter. You don't really do much with it. Like, they, those are there, but what, what's really good about it is you set the ball up in the middle of the clubs. And when you stroke it, it just makes it a lot easier to see what your arc is looking like. It's just very easy to see from this angle. Because if I'm putting with nothing, it can be kind of hard to tell sometimes. It looks like it might be arcing well, but really, it's not. But once you get in here and you kind of see the putter in relation to the shafts, it makes it much easier to tell. So it's a very simple drill to set up, very simple to just be able to put your ball there, hit some putts, and you can tell what your arc is looking like with your putter. Yeah, if you just set this up on the putting green, hit putts for maybe 10 minutes with it, just kind of check up on what your stroke's looking like, then uh, it'll help your game a lot if you do that a few times a week. And that is the video. I hope this video can help your putting out a little bit. Um, I hope you use the tips on the setup and the actual putting stroke. Like I said earlier in the video, putting, it really is an art form. It's very personal. The full swing is a lot more, you know, you gotta get to certain points in the swing. Putting, there's a couple things, but it's very just a personal thing on what grip you like, how far your feet you like to be apart, um, a bunch of different things, what kind of putter you use, all those types of things. They're all very personal and, um, so just you gotta go out and practice and just kinda see what you like. I hope this video can kinda guide you through that and guide you to find the right things. I really appreciate you watching. I hope your putting improves drastically after you watch this. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already. Make sure to hit that notification bell as well. We're getting good, good labs ranked back up and I'm super excited about that. We're gonna have a lot of good content coming out on this channel coming soon. Yeah, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Peace.